All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, I know you're disappointed that you don't see my beautiful wife, Rachel. Today, I am taking over the show. She is on a trip to Texas to eat delicious barbecue and other delicious food out in Texas. So I decided I would take over the show and uh, try something out. So we're experimenting with time a little bit to see if um, what time is better for people to watch. So if you like the time, this new time, go ahead and comment below. If there is a time that works best for you, we want to know. So let's hear it. So what are we doing today? So today we are trying to see if an easy recipe is actually easy. So let me see. So the recipe that we're going to make here is, oh, well, that's not going to focus, is it? Easy garlic lime skillet chicken. All right. So we're going to see if I can actually make this. What do you think? Do you think that I, Rachel's husband, who has somebody amazing cook for them all the time, can follow a recipe and actually cook something easy? Well, we're about to find out. All right. Let's see here. So first off, let's see. <laughs> David, you cook? Well, we're about to find out if I actually do. Um, let me know in the comments. Do, your, like, do you cook? Who cooks in your family? Is it... Uh, <laughs> thanks, Francis. Uh, who cooks in your family? Is it you? Is it your, your partner, your significant other? Is, do you make your kids cook? Because I kind of want to start making my kids cook. They're about getting to that age. I'm gonna send them out and into the kitchen and make me some food. Um, that's why you have kids, right? To, to make food for you. Uh, so let's actually, and let me know where you're watching from. If you're watching, comment below. Let's see where you guys are from. Oh, D Diana says, yes, my hubby cooks. I'm glad to know that there are other husbands out there. I used to cook for myself um, before I met Rachel. And maybe while we're cooking the chicken, I can tell you a story about um, what, what happened while we were dating. And then after we got married, it was kind of funny. So let's go ahead. Oh, let's see here. Let me just wash my hands off real quick. And so we're going to start with some chicken. Oh, wait, no. Maybe I should actually read the ingredients and follow. Hi from Guatemala. Awesome. It's amazing that people across the world are watching. Thanks for, thanks for watching. This should be fun. All right. So instructions. I should have all the ingredients, ingredients prepared. I even went ahead and used, oops, as I spill something, these fun little bowls. Oh, oh, we have a shot. You see all the stuff. Um, so let's see. In a small bowl, mix together garlic powder. All right, so here, let's zoom in on the bowl. Let's start mixing our ingredients. So let's see if I can identify what these are all. Um, here, let's see. Here's our bowl right here. Are we zoomed in on that? There. Okay, so we're going to start with, let's see, uh, oh, and I should comment, go, go back to me real quick. If you want the recipe, if you're on Facebook, go ahead and comment below just the word recipe, and we'll have a bot send you uh, the recipe. Hi from Virginia, and you can follow along, you can try this out, and see if, uh, see if this really is easy, and if you like it as much as I do. All right, so let's go back to the bowl, and we are going to add our, start doing our step number one, which is... In a small bowl, mix together garlic powder. So this is one teaspoon of garlic powder. Um, mix in our salt. Uh, this is three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Then we have half a teaspoon of paprika. Oh wait, no, I think that was the cayenne pepper. But anyway, we'll say that this is the, the cayenne pepper, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Um, half a teaspoon of dried parsley, uh, where we are, okay, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and that's all of our dry ingredients. Let's see, did I miss a sprinkle generously over chicken thighs? Uh-oh, okay, so now we got to pull out our chicken thighs. I missed, I missed a step, so let's go back to our cutting board, and we're going to get out and this calls for six boneless chicken thighs, or yeah, boneless skinless chicken thighs. So let me pull out a knife. And uh, do you guys like chicken thighs? Ah, oh, thanks for commenting recipe. You should get a message from our bot. Okay, do you guys like chicken thighs or do you like breasts better? I like chicken thighs because they're a little bit fattier. 
And so when you cook them, they're a little bit, it's, they're easier to make juicy, keep them to be juicy. So here's one chicken thigh. I see you're <laughs> a biking guy. My husband goes off to the Wolf Creek, Wolf Creek Ranch bike race as well. Hi, from Memphis, Tennessee. Awesome. I do love to bike. I bike probably too much. All right, so here's four, and I need another, another couple chicken thighs. Just went to the store and bought these this morning. All right, and oh, these seem a little big. I don't know, do these seem too big to you guys? These seem like big chicken thighs. They almost look as big as chicken breasts. May I use breast? I think you can. I don't know. We'll have to ask Rachel when she's back. Um, I think you just have to vary the cooking time and they may not be as, as moist and delicious. All right, let me, let's see. We have our, oh, I need to mix my seasonings over here. Now, I, full disclosure, I have never made this recipe before. This is my first time. And to be honest, like, I don't cook that much because Rachel does all the cooking. Um, and not because of any, she just wants to do it, so I let her do it. Um, and then Susie asked for the recipe. So sorry for the people on, on YouTube if uh, you want the recipe. You can always just Google the stay-at-home chef, uh, what is it, lime, garlic, lime, skillet chicken, and it should be one of the first results. All right, so now I have my mix all mixed together. Now it says, Sprinkle generously over chicken thighs. Okay. I don't know. Is this going to be enough? Well, I was thinking the same thing about the big thighs. Yeah, they are huge. Maybe I should have been more selective when I was picking out the chicken thighs. I don't, I don't buy chicken thighs very often. So, but they really are is quite large. I'll get them all sprinkled, all them mixed, sprinkled on. Rub it on, sprinkle generously. Okay, I think, I think that is generous. Okay, so let's go on to step number two, which is going to be heat butter and olive oil in a heavy skillet over medium high heat. Okay, so we got to get that warming up. I already kind of got my skillet a little warm. Um, now you're, you're going to have to forgive me because I'm cooking on a hot plate. And the hot plate has a fan that will be a little bit noisy, but you should still be able to hear me. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Woo. So this is kind of a fun induction hot plate. Yeah, you can see a shot of it right there. So let's go ahead and put our butter in. And let's see our olive oil. Oh, I have garlic sitting here. What am I supposed to do with the garlic? Oh, no, I don't do garlic yet. Okay, so we're going to get this butter melted. What kind of stove do you guys use? Do you guys use gas or do you have hot plates? Anybody use a hot plate? I know those are probably more common outside of the U.S. Do I bake? Well, not really. I've made some cakes. Like, I have actually, one time for Rachel's birthday. Here, we'll go back to me for a second. One time for Rachel's birthday, I actually made her own amazing chocolate cake for her. And so she's made that cake probably oh, 15 times. And she busted out like that super fast. And when I made it, it took me, it took me hours. It took me a lot longer. Of course, you know, I don't, I don't cook or bake very often, only on special occasions like when, when Rachel's away. But all right. Our butter and oil is getting hot. They're getting nice and hot. Hey, from Dallas. Hey. Unfortunately, Rachel's in Austin, which I know is not Dallas. Austin's its own, own country in Texas, right? Its own state. All right. Get that warming up. Hear the butter sizzling. Okay, let's try putting our our uh, our thighs on. Let's see here. Now this is a pretty big skillet, but these are big thighs, so we'll see if see if they all fit. Use a gas stove. 
Yeah, normally we use a gas stove too, but for the lives, I figured it'd be a lot easier if I could uh, talk to you on camera if I use this hot plate, because our stove is off to the side. So, all right. Okay, now we have three to four minutes. So let me tell you, oh, those are pretty crowded. Now, do I just, yeah. Sear chicken until golden brown, three to four minutes per side. Okay. So let me tell you about a story when Rachel and I first met and started dating. Um, we were in college, we we're college students, and uh, she decided that she, uh, she, she liked to cook even back then, and she decided that she wanted to cook for me, and so she would often cook dinners for us. And what she didn't know is that, um, so I was biking a lot. I was probably biking an hour to an hour and a half a day, six days a week, and so, and I was a 20-something year old um, boy. Hi from Nova Scotia, Canada. Ah, a Canadian. Welcome. Um, and so I was eating a lot. And I would go eat dinner at her apartment. And then I would go home and I'd eat another meal. Uh, what she didn't real, she didn't know that I was eating a, a second dinner after <laughs> I went and ate with her. So after we got married, she... Um, would make these dinners, like she'd make a, a pan of enchiladas, expecting it to last for uh, several days, and I would eat half the pan right there. And she was so frustrated because she had no idea how much I actually ate. I like that your pan is cast iron. Me too, I love cast iron. I actually maintain most of our cast iron, which we have a, a lot of cast iron. But, oh man, these are so thick, they're going to take maybe longer than three to four minutes per side. So let's see here. I was thinking, this is one of our larger cast iron too. I, man, I should have picked out smaller chicken thighs, but these will be, <laughs> hi Rachel, hey guys. <laughs> hi Rachel, hope you're having a great time in Austin. I hope you have a lot of fun and eat some tasty food out there. <laughs> yeah, be nice to me guys. So. I'm not as much of a performer as Rachel is. She does great. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's see. How are we? <laughs> Hi, Rachel. He's doing great. Thank you so much. Is it Jerry or Gary? All right. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see after everything is said and done if the recipe turns out. Let's see here. Okay. Are they brown yet? Oh, oh, I think they're browning on the underside. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and try flipping one. Yeah, huh. Let's see here. They're looking a little... Well, some of the ones on the outside aren't quite as done. I'm going to turn this one back over. Let it sear a little bit longer on that side. So... All right, so while we have a little bit of time, uh, let's, uh, so I'm curious, because we have, we have Facebook and we have YouTube that we're streaming to at the same time, uh, thanks, it looks so good, I, it smell, I wish you could smell it too. So I'm, I'm, I wonder, which is better, which do you think is better, Facebook or YouTube? Go ahead and comment below and, and vote for your perspective platform, because uh, I know that like, so the demographics are a lot different between YouTube and Facebook. But personally, like I, I've probably watched a lot more YouTube than I've spent time on Facebook. But all right, how are we doing? Yeah, I think they're looking. I have a uh, hi from Denver. Thanks for watching in Colorado. I've only been to I've been to Denver a couple times. Facebook is your is the best. Yeah. YouTube, I, you can see, I don't know if you noticed in the, in the comments that when we pop up the little bubble, you can actually see if they're commenting from YouTube or from Facebook. There's a little logo in the corner. YouTube all the way, Facebook, yeah. Started a holy war here. <laughs> yeah, YouTube, definitely. Thanks, Stephanie. Patricia, Facebook, oh man. Uh, great, 
So why, why do you think your, the YouTube or Facebook is better then, if, if I can ask you that? Facebook, YouTube, oh man, we got a lot of people with opinions. Do you guys have strong opinions or is this just like, eh? If I could only have one, YouTube would win. Ah. All right, okay, I better start flipping these. I think maybe I'll turn up the heat a little bit. Let's see here. All right, flipping them over. Oh, these are looking good. They're not quite, some of them aren't quite golden brown. We'll have to, what are you making other than chicken? All right, so I also bought some uh, brown rice. So I actually have a dinner that I'm going to tonight, so I won't be able to eat this tonight, but I'll probably put it, pop it in the fridge, in the skillet, cover it with plastic, and then warm it up again tomorrow while Rachel's away and, and serve it to my kids. And I also brought, bought some brown rice. So I like brown rice more than I like white rice. And Rachel does not like brown rice, so this is my opportunity to get my brown rice. So if I can get the juices in there, juices mixed with the rice would be pretty tasty. I used to eat a lot of brown rice before I met Rachel. What are the seasonings? So we have garlic powder, salt, paprika, dried parsley, um, black pepper, cayenne pepper, and then just some butter, olive oil, garlic, and, and uh, lime juice. But if you want the full recipe, just because you're on Facebook, Carol, just comment recipe and we'll send you a link to the actual full recipe that you can even go and print out. All right. Let's see, have I made any terrible mistakes yet? Hmm, this is taking a while to cook. I think because they are such big thighs. Your burner is smaller than the pan. Yeah, so this is actually, it's getting warm. So this is actually an induction cooktop. And it, <laughs> occasionally it will uh, flip some of our breakers because it uses so much power. Oh, this is smelling good. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting some. Man, I'm looking at the pictures. Did I do something wrong? Maybe I have it too hot now. I'll turn it down a little bit. Let's see here, flip them over. Concentrate, concentrate. Hundreds of people will watch this if I can't flip over some chicken. I wonder if I, I'm gonna go ahead and like move some of these around because that middle is definitely hotter than the rest. Let's circulate them. All right, let's see here. Get those all around. So what does it say? Well, I better look at the recipe. All right, it says add minced garlic and lime juice. Continue cooking chicken until chicken is cooked through to an internal temperature of 165. Coating chicken with juices. All right, so let's go ahead. So I have my garlic here. We're going to put that in. I think Rachel would be proud. Thanks. <laughs> All right, and then uh, let's see here. Our lime juice. There is just a lot of chicken in there. It will take longer to cook. Thanks. Yeah, I think that every time that Rachel's made this recipe or like chicken thighs, the chicken thighs are usually a lot smaller. And I just wasn't prepared. Like I... I was looking at the packages trying to figure out what the right size chicken thighs were. I swear these must have been fr from some uh, monster chickens or something like that. So okay, so now we should be spreading that garlic around. And that was supposed to be four cloves garlic minced. Oh, and the three tablespoons of lime juice that we put in. Okay, now there's a lot of juice in here. You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to get a hot pad so I can tip the pan. Do I cook a lot? Not a whole lot. So like I, <laughs> mostly when I cook for myself or I cook for my kids, I make us uh, quesadillas. Uh, well, we call them pizza dias because we put like pepperoni in there with the cheese. And then uh, I cook a lot of eggs, but 
I, I usually don't cook that much. So, I've been spoiled for the past 10 years being married to Rachel that she has... See, I used to like to cook. I actually do like to cook. And I liked cooking for myself. But she just liked to do it more. So I'm going to tilt the pan. Oh, here, let's see if we can do it towards the camera. Let's make sure the juices get in there. You can hear the induction cooktop not liking that I took the pan away. It's beeping at me. All right, let's try that again. All right, you can always pop it in the oven a bit. Yeah, so we'll see how long this takes. I might as well heat up the oven just for fun. Let's see here. Bake at, we'll just say 350. Let me pull out my meat thermometer. I have a meat thermometer sitting over here somewhere. It looks amazing. Thank you, Victoria. All right. Let's see what we're at. We'll pick one of the fat pieces. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. We're only at 123. We got a ways to go. Make sure that they don't burn on the bottom. <laughs> Are you guys enjoying this? Seeing me squirm? I know. So something that's interesting about us. Stay focused. You're doing great. Thank you. Thank you. So something that's interesting about us is that so we used to make a lot of those hand videos where there's just a hands in there making recipes on Facebook. Uh, I think Rachel has made over a thousand of them um, along with like a team that we had for a little bit. But so I ended up eating thousand, like a thousand recipes that you could find from different bloggers. I have eaten almost every single recipe found online it seems like. So, and some of them worked, some of them didn't work. I won't tell you which ones are which because I wish that's for me. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so I've eaten hundreds of those recipes that you can find online. Hundreds. And we have a, we have a fridge in our basement that we used to call the dessert fridge because sometimes we'd have a day where we'd make five desserts and we'd just put them all in the fridge and try to give them to all of our neighbors. So, all right. The oven's heating up over there. Mmm, it smells delicious. And guess what? So, it does say, even though the ingredient list doesn't call for it, it says serve hot with lime wedges or slices and chop with fresh uh, parsley to garnish. I don't have the fresh parsley, but I sliced some limes to put on there so that it would look somewhat like the picture. I don't know, what do, you, do you find that the recipes that you make online look like the pictures that they sent? And uh, Real Joey asked, What's my favorite recipe? Oh, that's a hard question to answer because we eat such a variety of things. We don't eat, because Rachel's always developing new recipes. I almost never eat the same recipe twice. Um, well, I eat it exactly twice. Once for YouTube, once for Facebook. <laughs> um, so what is my favorite recipe? I think a lot of it just actually kind of depends on my mood for the day. Oh, I better check to see if he's burning underneath. Okay. No, no, still looking good. Still smelling good. Mmm. Well, they smell delicious. I'm sure that they'll taste delicious once I get them to cook all the way through. It takes twice as long to cook on a hot plate as it does to cook ah, on a gas stove. You're going great. Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> you think I'd cook more because I'd have Rachel there to be able to like help me out if I get into trouble, right? Uh, I don't think that I feel pressured at all, like to. Um, I don't think that I feel any pressure from Rachel, to uh, that like I'd be embarrassed if I cooked something and it failed. What was that last comment about crab cakes? Can you guys do a crab cake video, please? We actually do have a crab cake video somewhere in the queue. I'm not sure if it's been published yet or not, uh, but we do have a, a crab cake recipe coming out that uh, Rachel made. So. Let's see. You match your kitchen aid. Oh, I. Holy cow, I do. Look, see, uh, here's my blue shirt and the blue kitchen aid. That was unintentional. 
Rachel likes this color, right? So that's why I wear it. <laughs> All right, how are we doing? Mm. All right, this one's getting hot in the middle. I'm switching out. Oh, and hey, have you made any of our res How long does it go in the oven? I don't know. We're going to find out. We're just doing by temperature. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Am I, am I probing it in the right place? The one in the middle seems like it's done. Some of these are done. Oh, the two big ones are not done. So what I'm going to do, let me grab a plate. Let me grab a plate here and we'll take the ones off that are done so they don't overcook for too long. We'll have to cut one of these open. That looks yummy. Thanks. Thanks, Jenny. All right, we'll put those over there for now and let's get these larger ones. Where's my hot pad? Looks yummy. I love the kitchen base. Thank you. Where I had my, oh, I put my plate on the hot bag. It disappeared on me. All right. I should do this more spooning of juices. You, you see that in the cooking shows, right? So I just emulate what I see people do, right? Spoon the juices on over. We watch a lot of cooking shows. You guys watch cooking shows? One of our favorite ones that Rachel and I watch together is Top Chef. And our kids are always like, why doesn't Rachel compete on Top Chef? And we have to tell them, Rachel is an amazing chef. But those guys, man, they are crazy. All right. Well, that's a little piece that fell off. You were doing great. Looks, uh, thank you so much, Julie. Uh, let's see here. Mm, it tastes delicious. Good lime flavor. You know what? I think that one's done. Let me that to the side. Let's see about this one. You know what? I think that that one's... Wait a minute. Hmm. That one, the other side, it has a, a little bit of a raw spot. I'm going to flip that over. And cook it on that side. Let's cook them on the other side a little bit. All right. Now, I wonder, do you guys actually make the recipes that you see online? Do you, I know that we get a lot of comments of, oh, I made this recipe of yours, I made this recipe of yours, it worked great. Um, love cooking shows, yeah. Uh, do you have any pictures? Because like, we have some great technology. If, on Facebook, if you comment and actually uh, include an image in your comment of food that you made, we can bring that up on the, the, the uh, image or on the screen and show... Uh, your cooked recipe. Do you guys have any pictures of recipes that you've cooked? Of any like bloggers or online? You can show that. Let's see here. Because you'll see like I'm, I'm looking at the picture of what Rachel did and what this looks like and it's not quite the same. Alright, okay. It's getting smoky in here. Are your kids picky eaters? <laughs> yes and no. Alright, let me turn off the hot plate. I think that the chicken's done. I think it's cooked all the way through now. So it said let wait. Let's see. Oh, this didn't say anything about resting. Uh, Sparkle Prophet said, I make all of them. Awesome! We love it when we hear people actually make the food. All right, okay, let's see here. Let's move these off to the pan. She needs to go beat Flay on Iron Chef. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? I'd love to see her compete. There was that one show, what was it, that had, um, it pit like home chefs against um, professional chefs. I can't, even, I can't remember what it was. Um, Whoops, let's see. Let's make sure the hot plate's off. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. Sorry, I'm leaving the screen. 
But oh, uh, we got a question. Oh, the oven's making noises. I can turn that off. We got a question. Are our kids picky eaters? Uh, yes, they are. And I always tell them, like, you guys don't know how lucky you are. Um, someday when you move away, you're going to realize how, how amazing the food was that we fed you. So like one, my son, he likes to be a little bit more adventurous and he's not as much of a picky eater as our daughter. Our daughter's favorite foods are macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. And I told her the other day, you know, you can, you can actually put those two things together. And she's like, nah, I'll just eat my hot dogs and macaroni and cheese separately. Uh, but that's pretty much all that she really likes to eat. She, she is a picky eater, but I don't know, someday when they get older and they move away and they have to cook for themselves, they will realize how amazing the food was that they ate at home. So, all right, well, I think, okay, so let's move this hot plate out of the way. Is it hot? Uh, it's a joy about induction. All right, let's look at this. Now, I am no food stylist. Well, there's some, like, crispy parts. Wow, I can smell it. It does smell amazing. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's see here. Wait, oh. Where are you, camera? All right. Yeah. Here, I'll make it prettier. I know how to I I know what to do. I've seen Rachel do this a lot. We just put some lime slices on it. There, we're good to go. I better cut it open and try a piece just to make sure that I'm not uh, totally way off. Prove that I actually cooked it. All right, which one should we open up? Well, this is a nice thick one. Do you think it got cooked all the way through? No, it's raw in the middle. No. All right, I better put it in the oven. Let's see here. Grab my pan back over here. But as Rachel said, it takes twice as long on a hot plate than it does on a gas stove. So that's my excuse. But let's see, that one's nice and thick. Oh, you know what? And Rachel is really good. Like, she can poke the chicken while it's cooking, and she can tell if it's raw or cooked all the way through. So, oh, yeah, these ones are not cooked all the way through on the top. All right, we're putting them in the oven. Ah. Are the thin ones cooked? The thin ones? Should we check one of the thin ones? Let's check a thin one and see if it's cooked all the way through. All right, let's see here. Can you go back? Let's see, go back over here. Ammon Steven Dixon says, looks great. Thank you. Oh, no, that's a little raw in the middle, too. Dang it. Oh, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. That's the problem with meat thermometers. Is sometimes you don't poke it in the right spot. I remember we were cooking, um, oh, that's hot. Woo! Into the oven it goes. We'll just bake that for, I don't know. Rachel, are you still watching or are you busy going through the airport? <laughs> How long should I cook it for? That's the question. We'll find out, we'll probe it. I just made this, but I'm feeding quite a few people, so I put it in the oven. Smells good, looks good, tastes great. Thanks, Rebecca. Yeah, this is, I love, like, I, back to the question of what's my favorite recipes. I really like, so Rachel has a bunch of uh, these skillet um, chicken thighs. There's one with, like, Moroccan that we put in Heroes. Um, what are some of the other chicken thighs? There are a bunch of chicken dishes that she makes that are really good. Uh, don't worry, you're doing so well. Thanks, <laughs> and Daisy. Um, but, uh, like I like I like a lot of food. I like trying new and maybe maybe that's my favorite recipe is what I haven't tried yet. So Rachel and I love both to go out and, and find food that we haven't tasted yet. So it's always uh, that's one of the greatest things to get surprised when you order something at a restaurant or cook something yourself and it's something that you haven't tasted before and it's just delicious. So but as for what is my individual favorite recipe, I don't know. Well, I think we'll let these bake. Um, it smells great, it tastes great, but uh, I'm not sure how long it'll take to cook, so we might as well finish up. But uh, let us know what you thought. Uh, comment below. Uh, share this. Um, subscribe if you don't subscribe. And, 
and come join us for more live shows. I had a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, and we'll be eating this for dinner or lunch tomorrow uh, with some brown rice. So thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so for my, thank you so much for all the comments and uh, the encouragement. And hopefully you'll see us see me again and uh, make cameos here and there. But next week we should have uh, Rachel back on the show, back from Texas. So, well, here let me do let me see if I can match her catchphrase. See you later.